Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. I'm here with the Eddie Horvath. Good morning, Mark. Hey, you got your man glitter on there. Oh, it looks yeah. good. I finally found it. Yeah, again. you finally found it. <laughs> <laughs> and ZZ hey, Mark. Good morning, guys. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Father's Day weekend. Happy yeah. Father's Day to anybody that is a dad. Even if you're not a dad and you're involved with some people's lives, you know, there's adopted yeah. fathers. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. Hey, super thanks is oh, also we got a big announcement, mm. big announcement. But first, super thanks is uh, Dale Huff. Thanks, Dale. Thanks, Thank Dale. you so much, Tim Maggard. Thanks, thank Tim. you, thanks, Tim. Chris Tapman. Appreciate it, Chris. And thank you, Chris, thank and you. Ed Hergat. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. It helps the channel out a lot. And something else that helps the channel out besides the super thanks is, is just hit the thumbs up. Yeah. It really helps the channel. I don't know why. It's something to do with the way YouTube looks at your algorithms. Um, but I appreciate it. We have a happy birthday shout out. David Pruitt. Happy um, birthday, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. The 16th was his birthday, and he is 53 years old. So hey, Young fella. He's young, yeah. Yep. Well, younger than me. How about that? Uh, and also, if you are subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. They, they've been dropping subscribers again. I don't understand how this happens. People are saying, aren't you putting videos on anymore? I said, I'm putting two a week on, sometimes three. Well, we're not getting notifications. YouTube is magically unsubscribing people again. And uh, just check your status. Uh, but I appreciate everybody that comes along here and watches this channel. You, you really help us out. Okay. The big Special. news. Big announcement? Big announcement. Big announcement. I got some license plates here. You want me oh, to yeah, let's do plates? license plates, yeah. Uh, this is. These are from uh, Roy Johnson. Roy sent us four plates. He uh, had lived in New Jersey for a while, and he was a fire chief. Mm. He has a firefighter's license plate. Here you go. He sent us another one. And he was also in the Air Force as a firefighter. Wow. Thank you for your service and yeah. continuing to do your job as a firefighter. In civilian life, appreciate. And we will put these up on the wall. Thanks, Roy. Okay, uh, where where are we? Oh, the big announcement. Big announcement. All right. Guess what? The edger is finally done. Uh, Robert from Cooks Saw Manufacturing called me up and said, "Your edger is ready to pick up." The only dilemma now, it's probably a thousand miles from here. Uh, they want some ridiculous amount of money to hook it to a truck and drag it up here. It's on a trailer. So, if anybody's in Alabama and you want to come up and visit us, uh, it's a great idea. Email me, and uh, maybe we can make some arrangements. And uh, it's not going to be for free. We will pay you. So, uh, well, let's. What are we doing today? Four by fours. Okay. We're going to make some stackers up. Yeah. We'll so have a little video on that. Hey, real little, quick, kitty cat cam. Mama cat's over there in the field. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We got a sighting. We might see the kittens before it's all over. So. All right, let's get well, some let's four get by four is cut, and then we're gonna make some stackers. Let's get going. Yeah, there it is, there's Kitty. Well, we got ZZ wiping the dogs off, so you can see. <laughs> All right, let's get things started up here, everybody. And I did turn the fuel on, yeah. That's something you don't wanna forget. It does need fuel to run. So let's get the carriage back and we got some ugly little, I don't even know what they are. I know one's a red pine. The other two, I'm not quite sure. They're small, they're ugly. So let's bring them up. up a little bit more. That will work. Wake the dogs up from their nap. And we're just going to make some four by fours. Them. 
then I do have a trimmer right out there. All right, let's start with that. And all we want to do is get these down to an eight by eight. So let's get started. with a couple boards we can edge out, I don't know. That big old nut hanging down there causing me grief. Let's turn it back to the knees and see how it looks, because I might have to cut that top off first. In fact, I'll tell you what. Let's just cut that top off now. I can see, yeah, that's just going to cause us nothing but grief. There we go. We'll square, make a square corner. We'll do this a little different with the little porcupines. over 
Um, it's hard to turn something that's going to stick out four inches. I'm going to run them dogs out just a, just a skosh there. Just give them a better hold. Okay, let's go back up to our, back up to our lottery wheel here. Let's go down to four inches.
going to cut it into a four by eight and get two out of there. We still have enough. I'm going to get two out of this one, Eddie. So let's just, uh, let me get back to Mr. Laser.
to get a flat spot somewhere in that neighborhood. Let's just put Mr. Master Dog down.
down eight and a quarter now for a reason. That board will be a little bit thicker, but if I try to take that little shave off of there, that blaze is going to try to walk. We'll end up with a more accurate product by doing this. And if you own the band builds, I think it's possible to take a whisker off on them. In fact, I don't like the way they salt pine. All right. I can't remember. Did I take that other face down eight and a quarter? We're going to find that out in a second. I can't remember. Kind of got lost in a moment here. laser. I think that might be a little bit fat, yeah. There he is. Yeah, let's get down to eight and a quarter. I thought I left it a little bit fat. You spent a long around enough time here. Kind of forget where you're at. Alright, now we're going to move the dogs out of the way now. See how fast that accident can happen? I'm going to shove them tight anyway, so... Put the doggies in and I bump them on just a hair. Now we'll get on to four inches. Let's get rolling here. Work right to the end of them, easy. Yep, and then that should be really close. What we're doing is we're using them six by six. This for the two rails, and this right now is upside down or downside up, whatever way you want to say it. So we're going to start out with putting three three skids on it that will um, be able to get forks under it, and we're going to use these small finish nails to. Uh, tack it together with these big nails what I like to do is I like to pre-drill the 4x4 only and then we come through <coughs> just want to start on the end here Ed I get you guys some yeah. 
My grill's not liking this today. It's, it is falling out. Rigid does have a terrible chuck on him. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> All right, if you want to get that little sledgehammer, it's right behind ZZ there. And go ahead and tack that one down. And I should have brought my other drill. Let me try to get this tightened up a little bit more. That bit does not like this at all. And them finished nails hold real good. They do. Uh, we were using them landscape screws, them timber locks, but they were so expensive. There we go again. This isn't working out so well, guys. It rings. All right. That worked better. That worked better. All right, that takes care of the bottom. Got enough nails, okay. And we'll flip it over here in a second. Let me get the camera back a little bit further. All right, let's just roll it over. Oh, you want to go back with it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can set, just set it right here. Set it right here. <laughs> All right, let me get a better angle. Now we'll start laying out them uh, top runners. Uh, yeah, I got the tape. Yeah, just go center on the middle one there. Yeah, crayon's right. Yeah, it needs squared up. I can't see it. I was like, wow, is this thing out of square? It's got to go your way, probably a good. And we want to get it as close to square as we can. These aren't exactly perfect anyway. Calling it. That's it. All right. Well, I'm just going to go over top of this one. That's good. A little bit of eyeball work there. And we're just going to go 18 inches on center.
That drill's not liking us today. Yeah. All right. Lay out over here. Okay, I'll lay the back side out. All right, almost done. And you can see, you can get underneath there with your forks. You put your stickers on top of them. And again, the straightest that lumber is ever going to be is the day it comes off that saw. So I don't like to go, I mean, you're, you're looking at 18 inches on center. Um, you don't want to go much further than that apart unless you're sawing like two inch thick stock and you're going to stack it. But uh, got to come this way a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. We've got four inches to put around. Yep, we got a lot of room. <laughs> I think the drill's liking it a little bit better now that it warmed up. <laughs> didn't like it. So if you have a bunch of old pine around and you want to make something out of it for your sawmill if useful, make yourself up a half a dozen of these things. Uh, I wish we had 36 of these things around. Because it makes it nice when you're done sawing, you don't have to run around chasing it with four by four blocks. And far as it rotting out on the bottom, it don't matter because uh, every once in a while we'll flip it over, throw a couple new bottom runners on it, and these will last for years. So, all right, we'll continue on here and we'll build another one.
Well, that looks pretty good, everybody. It does. And there you go. That's what we've been doing for years. Uh, we used to do this back at the old location mm -hmm. when we had the meadows. And uh, you can see how simple it is. Just get yourself some... It don't even have to be pine. It could be anything. If you want to make it out of oak, you want it. It's just going to be heavier. So depending on the capacity of your machine yeah, that pick you're picking it up, it up with, um, that will make a difference. Uh, this thing right now probably weighs... Oh, I bet you a couple hundred pounds Maybe or more. Maybe 200, 200 Yeah, so it, the, the thing about that is um, it'll dry down and it will get really light. And that will happen in a hurry. But, uh, and then them bottom skids, uh, they, they rot away. And then all you do is just pop a new one on once in a while. It takes a few years. Yeah, it takes a long time. And, and Walmanize is so expensive. And we have a sawmill. Yeah. And we know people it. that can cut them. Yeah. <laughs> So, hey everybody, thanks for coming along, and uh, what were we going to say? We, we had something else uh, we were talking about. Oh yeah, uh, the edger again, we were talking about the, uh, if you're in the area around Alabama and you want to run the edger up for us, please email me and uh, maybe we can strike a deal or ZZ, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to figure something out here. But uh, i got a place to stay down in northern Alabama, so yeah. it'll be a three-day trip, but... And even even Dave McGuire, McGuire and Son Sawmills, if you're watching this, uh, maybe you'd want to take a run. But uh, let us hey, know. Yeah, let us know. And uh, all right, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for coming along. And do us a favor, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure that you are still, still subscribed because yeah. they are they're, they're dumping people off for some reason. So hey, thanks again. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. All right, bye bye.